at Hoyt we make bows. 10 pounds of raw aluminum forging or CNC machine into a two pound riser. Fiberglass billets are sanded, machined, and laminated into highly efficient springs. High modulus polyethylene fibers are wrapped, stretched, twisted, and served into stable strings and cables. We uh, put that ram to bed yesterday. We're gonna yeah. scurry up the mountain pretty quick here and see if we can't make a stock on them. From an engineering standpoint, if we only had to design a bow that shot great at six feet, then our job would be easy. But that's not what we do. At Hoyt, we develop fully integrated shooting systems. He looks like a really good ram, dude. Oh, that's exactly what we're looking for. It's more than a bow, not just for us, but for every hunter who's headed into the field. Now it's game plan time. A bow is the catalyst that leads us into the outdoors, whether that's high altitude on the mountains or 20 feet up in a tree. Go down lower. A bow is the springboard to the adventures we seek. Snow fly off, watch. He moves his head. No, you hit him. Oh! <laughs> it is 100% dead right there. Big round bone. I'm so oh. pumped for you. Look at look what he would have yeah, dropped he's off like, of. He's like, what, 10 feet from 75 foot? Guess what? <laughs> <laughs> yep. The one we've been after. Yeah. Still, still has not set in. Four to five percent success rate in all of Alberta. That's <laughs> rifle hunters and bow hunters combined. And you just killed a bighorn sheep with your bow, over the counter tag. No. Hands down, I would say that's the hardest hunt in Alberta. 100%. This week has been a grind. With a new bow too. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. the VTM works. I it's all right. So. Yeah, yeah. it'll be all right for him this year. It gets a pass. <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs>